Hey everyone, and welcome to the pre-render show. I am Tommy Portugal here with my co-host Andrew Niker411. Say hi, Andrew. Hi. <laughs> How's that us for an intro? It's fine. You. Mm. <laughs> I, I screwed I, up at the end, but oh well, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I call this guy, and the first thing, hello, and we start getting louder, and then he calls me a jackass. Jackass. See. In the first 30 seconds, you're already yelling at me. I am saying, well, I don't know why, but who cares? You know what? You're done with high school. This person has graduated, everyone. I have, I have graduated. I don't know how, but I've graduated. It was funny. My mom asked me, so what are your grades going to look like? And I just kind of looked at her. I graduated. That's the important part, Mom. Uh, you're a C student, aren't you? Uh, I have... Three A's and three D's, so... Yeah, so you're a C student, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that's true, isn't it? So, what are we talking about this episode, Tommy? It should oh. be pretty obvious, but what are we talking about? No, oh, well, we're talking about the th- E3 coverage. What the hell is that? Please, tell anyone. Everyone. Tell them! Well, I mean, for those who listen to the pre-render show, why are you even listening if you don't know what E3 is? E3 is a convention where we they announce big news for game consoles and games itself what's coming up within the years and boy there's a lot of them and they show demos game trailers and it's just it's so cool i've never been there but i want to i'm gonna bring it up before you do why shut up let me tell the story when it's time no yes it's time no why i want to save it savor it for a little bit just People let the play. audience guess. Mm, whatever. So, which one of the three major companies do you want to talk about first, or do you just kind of want to talk about other stuff? First? I just, you know, I, um, not really companies, but just random. As long as we're talking about the E3 stuff, it doesn't matter. So, you know, a new movie film was um, announced at E3. Was it? Uh, I don't remember. Devil make. They're making a. Oh, Devil that's right. Based movie. on the first video game, but I mean, based on the new game that's coming out. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah. And then, let me see. What else? There's a lot of stuff that happened there. There's a lot of stuff. I want to... Well, for me, I mostly focus on Xbox because I have an Xbox, so I know all a lot of Xbox stuff. Then talk about it. Uh, no, but I want to first talk about the the Wii U, the new Wii console. That that is, The Wii U looks really cool. The system itself kind of looks like an Xbox morphed with a Wii. Yeah, it's like a little skinny Xbox. And then the controller. Did you see the controller? Yeah, that thing's going to be expensive. Of course. I mean, that's it, it was a lot bigger than the Project Cafe controller that we saw. Yeah, it is. It kind of it looks like an iPad, Yeah, honestly. it kind of looks like it's not as big as the iPad, but it's bigger than the iTouch. I don't know. You know what? It looks like one of those little um, tablets. I can't think what they're called right now. Um, yeah, forget a it. Tablet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. But that the controller is going to be expensive. Like you're going to buy your system. That's going to be at least two hundred and fifty dollars. And I'm calling the price on this controller. It's going to be like a hundred and twenty dollars. Probably. But think about it. As uh, would you buy one? I know it will probably come with the con- with the console, but would you buy one? An extra? If it, ca- if it came... No, well, Nintendo said that you're only going to need one per console. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I mean... Okay. I mean, it, we ta- it says right here, Wii U tablet limited to one per console. Nintendo's Shigeru Miyamoto says companies currently only plans to have one device per system, but final decision is not made yet. Well, there you go. Not made yet, so... Well, it should be because that's going to be expensive. And think about it. As much as I hate to say this, video games are kind of lazy parents, um, kid watching tools. I can't think right now. And basically, this thing is going to get torn up to hell, and people are going to be going to GameStop wanting to get refunds on this $120. I might as well just call it its own machine because you can take it portably and play Wii games. Ah, sh- Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What? What happened? Nothing. Did you just, like, kill a cat or something? <laughs> no, I was trying to kill a man. A man? A Spartan. Wha- oh, jeez. <laughs> you're playing Halo while you're, we're doing this? Yes, Andrew. 
I am. Then did you even hear anything I just said? Yes, that people are going to be upset because of the tablet, how, you know, little kids are going to scratch it and they want refunds and they're not going to pay that much for a tablet. Exactly. And, but did you hear, it's like a portable Wii. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, the thing has a lot of cool stuff on it. No, it does. I mean, it looks cool. But like, you know, like I said, of course, with a new console, you're going to get a new Super Smash Brothers, and they're saying it's also Super Smash is also going to be for the 3DS as well. Yeah, that's true. With any new Nintendo console, you're pretty much guaranteed a brand new Smash Brothers. They announced it, but they haven't... Um, said anything about it. Yes. They kind of just said it, like, casually, oh, and by the way... Exactly. They haven't even made plans. I mean, what they're saying is that the, your Mies will be playable characters. That would be cool. I would like that. Did you hear about the su- the Super Mario Brothers Me? Uh, yeah, I heard, I heard about that. That's pretty cool, actually. You get to play as your Me? me? Uh, yes. You can play Michael Jackson as a character now. Oh, jeez. How about Michael Jackson Me? As well as the C-3PO and some other people. And LG, anyone else you can down. Well, you can pretty much play as uh, anyone from your me channel, right? Yeah. Well, about what they announced a lot of things for the Wii U, um, and saying that it's going to be like this brand. Well, it's going to be HD and a bunch of things. It's finally going to catch up to like welcome to this generation, you know? Yeah, exactly. And then in about a few years, you'll be outdated again. Well, Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo, for Nintendo, graphics doesn't really matter for them. As long as they tell a story and it's enjoyable, that's all that matters to them. Hmm. Yeah, Nintendo's finally caught up with the graphics look of the PS3 and the 360, but that doesn't matter. I mean, who cares? I mean, you have little kids playing Nintendo games most of, mostly, mostly little kids are playing Nintendo games. That's true. So I don't think graphics is their main concern. As long as it's entertaining and fun, that's all that matters, and that's how it's always been for Nintendo. Well, that's also true. But they're trying to go for the new system. They're trying to go for a more hardcore audience. Like a lot of the games they announced are quote unquote hardcore. Yeah, that is true. So I don't know, man. They're just trying to reach everyone. What's wrong with that? I don't know. They're 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 console whores. Ah, uh, that that's why I don't I don't know. They're smarter than us, so whatever. Did, did you hear about uh, Nintendo's stock decreased? Yes, I have. They, it decreased five percent after they announced the Wii U. <laughs> well, it's a little ridiculous, but hey, let them. Who knows? It could be the next big thing. Nintendo is always. What happens is Nintendo always releases something early, and then Microsoft and PlayStation will come out with it a few years later and perfect it. Yeah. Except with handhelds, Sony handhelds don't do that well. No, I don't. I don't care for PSP. What about the PSV? Uh, no, still don't care. <laughs> I do. It's like a portable PlayStation 3, man. Have you seen the graphics on that yes, thing? Yes, it is amazing. But I'm not one for, like, portable stuff. The only portable thing I will own and forever own would be the Game Boy Advance SP. If you could see me shaking my head at you, it would all be okay. The PSV looks really cool, man. Like, touch screen, back touch screen, really high graphics, 3G, play and much play, portable, any, or, like, online, anywhere. That is cool. Exactly, and you're not going to get in on it. I know. Oh, and you're just, you're just going to accept that. Yes, I can. I want to smack you. <laughs> like, over the internet. I wish the Skype had a buzz button. Buzz. Like on Yahoo, you press buzz and it just like loudly on the other computer goes blah or whatever. That was not a very. Anyway, moving on. That was a terrible impression of a button. (laughs) God. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so now move on to Microsoft. Talk about Microsoft. Talk about your baby darling. 
<laughs> well, if you guys don't know, I love Halo. <laughs> As of right now, I am playing Halo. Reach. <laughs> Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> And Microsoft made well not well three four three industries is now handling the Halo series. It's no longer Bungie. Bungie is no longer attached to Halo. So maybe it won't be so repetitive. <laughs> but three four three industries, you have um people who used to work on the who used to work for Bungie and worked on the Halo games, so they know the oh, story as well. Crap. No, it's true. Frank O'Connor? That's not the point. That means it's just going to be the same repetitive. Nah, nah, nah. No, does I mean story wise, you know, you know, you can trust Halo will be safe with the story. So they have announced Halo Four as one big announcement. Ooh. Oh, hey, I knew it was going to happen when you know Microsoft took the rights. But I mean, have you seen the trailer? I mean, well. Yes, I've seen the trailer. To me, it should have stopped at Halo 3. The story, like, moving forward, that's fine with ODST and Halo Reach, you know, going back to, you know, tell the story, that's fine. But, like, continue the story where Master Chief left off in floating space of half ship. To me, that's like, oh, that's a cool ending. I would, I'm satisfied with that. But not only do they say this is Halo 4, but it's the start of a new trilogy. So that means there will be Halo 5 and Halo 6. Ooh. But, I mean, at the end of the trailer, I mean, it kind of looked like a mass relay to me from Mass Effect. You don't, you know, you never play Mass Effect, did have you, Andrew? No, I want Richard here so he can boo with you, me. <laughs> Shut up. Who knows? I mean, this might be a good thing. I mean, I'm going to play it no matter what. As for will I like it, I'm not sure. And, of course, you're going to buy the Legendary Edition, and you're going to fork all your money down, and just to get the same crap. Hey, it's different. Hey, look, if it wasn't for Halo, you know, console games wouldn't be what it is today, you know, for FPS shooters. Liar. Yeah? No. The physics behind it, yeah. If it wasn't... No, if thank it's the you. Physi- no, the f- look, sir, Halo perfected sir. the physics of FPS shooters for game consoles. The sir, physics. Did you ever the physics? Think, think back. The physics. Think back of the game like Doom. The okay, physics. Doom was on the consoles. Okay, yeah, but it was. It was like okay. I mean, PS. The PC was better. And. And the PCs were better, but it wasn't perfected. You know, like. But Halo Combat Evolved kind of Hello. perfected that did, sort of. Did, 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 you, did you forget all the things on the PlayStation 1, like Siphon Filter and stuff like that? I'm talking about... I don't, I'm not going to convince you, am I? No, you're not, because it's just complete and utter bullcrap. You're saying okay, Halo well, is some kind of pioneer for something. When pioneer games, for, like, the Call of Duties and... Yeah. Medal of Honor was out before... Before Halo... Yeah, but it was okay. Not like Halo. Uh, oh, Jesus. Ah. Well, anyways, as long as Halo with oh, the announcement of Halo 4, Halo Combat Evolve Anniversary is as well coming out. Actually, by November 5th, ah. 2011. Hey, this is cool. It's a remake. The graphics, it plays exactly the same way. It's just it, updated graphics. They just want your money. For $40? That's the price of it. And you can also switch to the old graphics as long as with new graphics instantly. All you have to do is press the back button of the Xbox 360 controller and it switches automatically. Why would you want to do that? And you get seven new maps for Halo Reach. Why? Okay, I'm moving on. We're, we're moving no, on. No, we're not moving Halo. on. We are we're moving st- on from Halo. Hey, come on. You Have you played the original? Yes. Did you like it? It was okay. I will kill not you worth now. the hype. I will kill you now. It's not if worth it wasn't all for the Halo, hype. The egg, there will be no. The Xbox console would have been dead. Now I would have been okay with that. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, well. I would have been the only. And Gears of War would have been on the PlayStation Three instead, and we would have no, all been. I don't okay. think there would have been a Gears of War if it wasn't for Halo. Oh, shut up. The physics. <laughs> I just want to smack you, but I know I can't. 
Because no. you're all the way over there. That's right. Oh, you live in you know Bloomington. But you know what? I have another thing for Microsoft that you might not like. What? Microsoft announced that they are incorporating the Microsoft Connect into every single first-party game from here on out. That's fine. Eventually, they're going to get a Connect. You think that's okay? You Are you willing to play your Halo with a Connect? Well, have you seen Ghost Recon with Connect? No. It looks amazing. So, if Ghost Recon is this is really the first test of Connect for FPS shooters. If this if Ghost Recon, you know, does really good, then it's very possible mm. for future games to use Connect. But I'm sure as an option as well, or I don't know. Mm. Okay. Or some games will specifically be made for Connect, and some. Yeah, there'll be some that'll yeah. only for that, and some that'll incorporate it. Anyway, moving on from Microsoft. That's enough of that. No, no, no. Mass Effect, baby. <sighs> Talk Mass, about Mass Effect 3. The last chapter of the Epic Trilogy, RPG Trilogy, uh, which is also going to feature Connect as an option as well. I heard that would be pretty cool because, like, hopefully they use voice recognition. It does. You can say what you want to say. That's really cool. And you can tell your squad mates where to go, what powers to use. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's all they showed. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think they're actually doing something with the weapons itself. Just pretty much a dialogue. Gears of War 3. They showed Ice-T coming out and they fought this huge Kraken thing. Really cool. I have not looking. seen the footage for Gears of War 3 yet. It was really cool. You know who Ice-T is or no? Uh, the rapper? Yeah, they, the rapper came out. And they were playing... And, like, this huge Kraken thing, and they were fighting it, and Ice-T's uh, making a brand new single for the Gears of War exclusively on iTunes. Okay. Well, I won't there buy you go. it, but... Whatever. I bet Chris will. I don't like... T- what was it? A T.I. or Ice-T? Ice-T. Ice-T. Well, not, I'm not into rap, so it doesn't interest me. I mean, I'll get the soundtrack, because I have the other two soundtracks. I like the score for it. Mm. But I won't get yeah. Ice-T's. Is there anything else Microsoft you want to talk about? Um, how come you haven't been played Mass Effect? That's what I want to know. It's an RPG RPG game. I'm surprised you're not into it. My Xbox is broken. Well, how long has your Xbox been broken? I don't even know, and it really annoys me. With all that college money, you can like repair it. Yeah, but. But 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 I'm going to Vegas next week. So what? You're gonna, I mean, you you can't gamble. I know, but I need it for other things. I don't know. I have 165 of it. It's already I already spent like 100 of it. On what? Disneyland and movies. Oh, and just, oh with your dates and all that. Yeah. Anyway, so 165 of it's already spent. Okay. Already, even though I haven't Jeez. spent it yet, because it's for the wrestling school. Okay. And then I have about probably around 200 left, but I don't know, 100 of that's going into a college fund already. All so, right. so I only have about 100 left, I think. Damn. Yeah, money spends itself these days. You know, you just like to waste them. I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, forgive me. I want to kill you. But I won't, because I need a good partner for the pre-rendered show. Well, I'm here. <laughs> I realize. Okay. And can we talk? Ab- can we talk about Sony now? <sighs> you know, I'm surprised you like Sony a lot, but you don't even own a PS3. Because they're too expensive. Yeah, you own an Xbox, ha! Huh. Because I bought it used. For a hundred dollars, and it came with five games, and I realized why it was used because it doesn't work. Yeah. After this podcast, I'm gonna try to make that thing work. I'm gonna take a hammer to it. No, you're just gonna make it worse. You can shut your face. Moving on to Sony. Fine, move on to Sony. Moving away from Sony. All right. They didn't, they didn't really say anything. Exactly. Kind of they just apologized. Oh, we're sorry for all the inconvenience with the PlayStation Network. And then they announced the PlayStation Vita, which we already kind of talked about. 
Yeah. No, what I want to like Microsoft has featured a lot of, like pretty much for Microsoft, it's all a bit it's all about connect. Connect this, connect that. And have you seen the new Star Wars Connect game? It looks terrible. It does. It really does. I'm not interested in it at all. It it looks really chunky. Like it, you could see the guy waving his arms and it wasn't following It's kind of laggy doing. with it. I mean, they kind of announced this last year as well and not many people were happy about it. And this year people are still aren't happy about it. Well, that's to be expected. Well, yeah. I mean, you have a year to improve yourself and it's but it still just looks the same. Well, let me see. PlayStation Move, they announced um, the new Resistance game is going to use the PlayStation Move. Did you know that? E- no. There you go. And then um, they also announced Uncharted 3. Yeah, that, that's already been announced, though. Well, yeah, they just showed more for it, and that was about it. That's all I can think of from Sony. It was very unmemorable. No, what's also well, okay, yeah, Sunny, very unmemorable. Had a it had a rough year, so yeah, you know, let it take a break. You know, it wants it to take off the heat for a bit and just announce a few good things, hoping, oh, let's boost our reputation again. Yeah, that's true. So it's fine. Let them take a break. Okay, so that's basically we covered all three major companies, right? Uh, we can still talk about them. I mean, there's still a lot of games coming out. Well, yeah, I know, but I, I I just don't know what to say. Have you seen footage for the Connect Disneyland Adventures? No. It's pretty much a Disneyland Park recreated, and when you go on the rides, you play, like, mini-games. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so with the Peter Pan Adventures, you go into the Peter Pan world, and you have to actually fly, and you fight Captain Hook. That's cool. You go to the Matterhorn, and then you, inside you go sledding down the mountain, like, earning points. That's really cool. So that I think that's gonna be a really fun game. That's like a that's sort of like a little Mario Party. Mm-hmm. If you want to think about that, it's Disneyland, mm-hmm. so that's gonna be more fun. Oh hey, um, uh, the a new Pikmin game was released for the or was revealed at for the Wii U. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Do you know what Pikmin is? Oh yeah, I know Pikmin, the little guy with the space helmet with little seeds. Mm-hmm. That uh. I don't know. It was just it was revealed. Some other things, you, they announced a price drop for the Nintendo DSi. That's fine. That's cool. Well, yeah. You know what's pretty cool about that, though? Why? For everyone who said that they don't want the DSi, they're just going to wait for the 3DS, I have a DSi. That is what my DS is. Mm-hmm. They're releasing Zelda, the Four Swords, for free for the DSi. Why for free? I don't know. Well, They're just releasing cool. it for free with online and a bunch of other stuff. Hmm. And if you're a Nintendo Plus user, which I am not, but if you are a Nintendo Plus user, you get a free soundtrack with, for um, Ocarina of Time with it, too. But since I'm not, I only get the free Four Swords, but ha! That's fine. Yep. There's also there's a lot of other things. They announced a lot of stuff for the 3DS. They, um... They like you said they the new Smash Brothers they showed stuff for the new uh, Zelda game they said there's a new Zelda game coming on the way for the 3DS there's a new uh, uh, Kid Icarus game coming for I'm thinking to kill it. him kill who Pit or someone Pit I, I I don't know I thought I read that somewhere oh and they announced Luigi's Mansion 2. Wow. Yeah, I was surprised by that. I was happy about that. Luigi's Mansion was a good game. I never played it, so I really can't talk crap. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, I'm only into Halo. I'm a hardcore gamer. I'm really a hardcore gamer. I just like... Halo's the only shooter. I play Dragon Age and Mass Effect. I'm going to go back playing Mass Effect again. Because I'm ex- I'm pumped for Mass Effect 3, big time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like I'm, I'm, I'm forcing my brother. Me and his friends are forcing him to play Mass Effect One. And has he gotten any far? Has he gotten far? Yeah, he finished uh, Novaria and Pharos. You don't know those, but it's a planets. Those are oh, planets. Okay. And they're missions. Part of the key. so he's almost done. He's like halfway-ish, hmm. a little more than halfway. You know, it's a game that you have to get. <sighs> what is that? That hairy chick. 
No, Duke Nukem forever. Yeah, tell me about Duke Nukem. I I know Duke, who he is, but I've never been interested. Duke Nukem back in the day was one of the best shooters ever. And basically for 15 years, they've been saying Duke Nukem forever is going to come out. They would release some things, release trailers, and it wouldn't come out. And it just, well, that took this forever. Whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it just kept getting delayed over and over. Well, all this time later, it's finally coming out. And it has the same potty humor and just a bunch of other stuff like that. And it's just, it looks really good. It's just a really cool FPS. And I think it's co-op, I think, uh, co-op story mode. I'm not sure. But it, it looks pretty good getting produced by 2K and 3D Realms. And you're going to get it. Am I going to get it? No, you are going to get it. Why am I going to get it? Are you going to get it? I am going to get it. You just want to see naked computer chicks. No, I, that's what Google's for. Naked computer chicks. Nah, yep. If you really want to do that, just go play the Flash game, Dude Nud- Duke Nudum. you got to be kidding me. Well, I'm not going to play it. <laughs> I found out because the Game Heroes did a review on it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the next time he plays. <laughs> oh, you're saying it. You're saying it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, though. It's only for Xbox games, so. Yeah, but it's a it's a Flash game, so you could... I could if I wanted to, but no. Exactly. Anyway, I, I, I'm kind of E3'd out. I'm not. Then you can go ahead. What about Tomb Raider? <laughs> Tell me you've I, seen the trailer for Tomb Raider. I did. It looks really dark and gritty. Ah, it's a reboot, and boy, it looks real. Square Enix has always been good for their CG cutscenes, but boy, that that looked like a movie to me. Uh, it looked really good. It did. Um, I can just say it looks a little too dark, though. I don't my care. Taste. This is the origin of her. So I'm guessing you're picking this up? I never played a Tomb Raider game in my life, but I'm interested after seeing that trailer. Tomb Raider is a pretty good game. They're just... They're really puzzle oriented usually, but this looks more just like quick time. They still have puzzles though. They said. Well, that that'll be good then. Yeah, there's it's gonna be more like realistic puzzles. Hmm. You know what instead I mean? Instead of instead of just like move this, move that, move this. Yeah. Like realistically for her. I mean, at the end of the trailer, it looked like she's at the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, that's what people are saying. Is that uh, this is taking place in the Bermuda Triangle? And I like that. It's pretty cool. Which will be interesting. Oh, I'm tired, if you can't tell. I can't. Good. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to do as soon as we're done with this? Wait. I'm going to go eat Top Ramen. Top Ramen. God. Some, some hard-earned roast beef Top Ramen. Could you be any more white? Could you be any more Asian? Yes. Shut up. Well, I'm not are really you, Asian, so... Are you interested in Bioshock? Um, I had the first one, but I, ne- I only played bits of it, and then I got rid of it. What, why'd you do that? I don't know. I just, I just stopped playing it. I don't know why. I just stopped playing it. And then sold it. My brother beat <laughs> it, but I never finished it. Did you hear about their they ne- they uh showed a trailer for the new BioShock at the That looks e- cool. BioShock Infinite? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, they also showed Batman Arkham City stuff. Oh yeah. I, never I want the it. first one. Oh, it's so good. No, I saw my brother play it, so I know what happens. It's really really good. You need to play it. Well, I already I saw you, it. I already I, I know saw you, you already from saw it, end, so I know what happens. I know you already saw it, but you still need to play it. Uh, did you see the stuff for the Street Fighter X Tekken? No. I'm interested, of course. Fighting games, I love them. Yeah. Ma- uh, Soul Calibur V? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that one. There's of a lot of will. games. Oh, Assassin's Creed. I'm also excited for Assassin's Creed. Meh. You suck. You suck. You suck. Don't tell me what to do. Yes, I can. Whatever. <laughs> now be quiet. See, you listen. <laughs> Just shut your... F- ah. <laughs> How come you're not interested in Assassin's Creed? 
I'm just, I don't know, probably because I haven't played the first ones. Well, then that's why. Play the first ones. It's fun. First one's <clears> okay, <throat> but the second, second one is, like, really good. And I still haven't played Brotherhood. I still want to play that badly. But then, so Revelation's coming out this year, too. So I want to play the first one. Well, I want to buy the first, I mean, Brotherhood first. Like I said, broken record, 360 broken, the end of that. End of story. And you call yourself a gamer and the Xbox is in priority to fix? I've been trying. Uh, It's been like a year, hasn't it? Yes, isn't it ridiculous? And you're trying? Yes. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. I've been playing Flash games. And retro games. And retro games. My PS2. Even though I found this, I found a really cool puzzle flash game I've been playing. Been kind of addicted to it. It's called Armor Pacross 2. You ever played Pacross games? No. They're hard. They make my brain hurt. I got rid of all my brain cells because I graduated from high school. I don't need them anymore. You need it for college. Damn. <laughs> anyway. There, there's E3. Right? Right! Fine, it sounds like you're done, I can continue talking. I know you can. I know you can, but right now, you, you don't want the podcast to be over no, 45 minutes, do you? What, how long have we talked? Uh, it's been about half, half an hour, hour. Half half hour. past half an hour. All right. Fine, if you want to move on, if we find that stuff to talk about, we'll still talk. Alright, deal. And it's not like we can't continue E3 talk next time. There's still a lot of stuff still going to be we'll announced. Even time. though E3's, even though E3's kind of ending. <laughs> Halo Fest There's... in August. Yes. Moving on. <laughs> games we've been playing recently. <laughs> what games have you been playing recently, Tommy? Uh, well, as you saw, Avatar Don't Bleed in the Tommy Plays video and Halo Reach. Uh, as I'm playing. So, is that all? You, is that all you've played? Yes, I'm playing with my inclement weather. I'm already a general grade four on my way to become a field marshal. I you oh god, I just don't know what to say to that because I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a rank. It's a really high rank. Mhm. Yes. And do people look at you like oh oh screw a kangaroo? Like you're some kind of master? Well, I'm pretty good and with my group that I play with. Oh, you're in a clan? No. Okay, then. Just some mission of my buddies. Alright. So, games I've been playing recently. Armored for Cross 2. I already said that. Played some more of uh, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. I'm on the very last mission and I'm halfway through it. Really hard. I'm stuck been playing uh or yeah i can't talk mario and luigi bowser's inside story for nintendo ds just started that like 15 minutes in played some more capcom versus snk2 but only a little bit because i got frustrated and that's it because i've been busy with graduating in disneyland and a bunch of important stuff really that's like a lot of games (laughs) yeah but i've only been playing them for like very very small amount of times yeah Try to vary myself. Oh, and Angry Birds. Angry Birds. So how do you like Angry Birds? It's, it's, I don't know. It's hard. Well, you're doing it all in one try. Yeah, I know. And I'm not, I'm not pre-playing it either. I know. Like, it's amazing how you figure out how the bluebirds multiply. Yeah. Well, I just, well, I saw, I saw that picture. Okay. If. I figured you just click on it. <laughs> no, I told you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta do the. Let me see. I, I just got done level fourteen, up to level fourteen. So next time it's gonna be fifteen through twenty-one. Mm. That's gonna take a while. Are you sure? It could be a long video. Well, you, well, yeah, but the problem is, the longer I record with my thing, the more the sound gets off. I know. I realize that. It's like it kind of lags. Yeah, so I only do seven levels at a time, because near the end, you'll see it's about maybe a few seconds off, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I've been playing recently. Halo Reach. Halo Reach. 
I hate Halo. How could you hate Halo? I don't hate it. Then why say it? Like it. Why I'm just it? messing with you. The only Halo game I currently own is Halo 2. And I have it I have it for my computer and I just play online, that's it. And you it's, like it? It's okay. I play rarely. I I play like hacked maps and stuff where you can play as, like Zelda and stuff. See, that's stupid. You're not truly experiencing the Halo stuff. You're just playing hacked versions. No, well, I'll show you the hacked version. It's actually really, really cool looking. I don't care. Well, yeah, you will care. Why? I don't know. I'm not going to play Halo 2 on PC. Why? Because I already have it. Well, you need to download another game for free because it's on PC, but it's free. Free download. I'm not... I have a lot of stuff on my laptop. I don't want to download any more stuff. Too bad. No, I'm not going to download this one. I'm telling you right now. Oh, wait, so how how are those games I sent you and stuff? A little confusing for me with the buttons, but yeah, I can control them. I haven't really played much with them, otherwise I would have said it. Okay. Alright, well, that's it. Bye. Really? We're ending it? I am. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. 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 How evil of ah. you. Uh, okay, I want to, for the people that are listening, I want to apologize. I'm tired, and I today's my relaxed day, and I'm sorry. And next time there will be a hundred and thirty percent more energy no, no. and a and, and a guest. No, no. Next time you won't even be on the show. Next week you're not going to be on it. That's your punishment for being lazy. Crap. <laughs> you know I'm right. I'm not. I'm not going to be here next week, guys, as I'm going to be in Vegas. I'm going to see Bruno Mars next week. So I will have something special for all of you. There you go. I'm not I sure what it is. Can I even be I a hope, surprise? I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, I hope you bared with me through my laziness. But I, I, I tried. Kind of. <laughs> Senioritis? Even though Senior- it- I'm almost gone. It's just, like I said, I've been so busy. Like, I got home from grad night at 6 a.m. No, we left the park at 6 a.m. in the morning, got back at 9. Wait, today? No, not today. And then le- that same day, I had to go pick up my diploma. And then that and then that same day, I had a baseball game. That was yesterday. I went to a baseball game, and today I'm just, like, dead. Shouldn't baseball put you to sleep? No, I really like baseball, and plus we're sitting by the foul ball stuff, so balls are flying at us. Well, that's a good that's, souvenir gift if it hits you in yeah, the face. Yeah, I didn't get, I didn't get hit in the face. Almost hit this one guy who was in our group was getting freaked out though. It was funny, he was running around. Anyway, that's it for this show. Thank you for listening from the pre-rendered podcast. This has been Andrew Holmes, Niker Four Eleven, and Tommy Portugal. Sing, saying goodbye. See you next week.